Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we're going to look at the newest release from Dogfish Head. This is the Dogfish 61, which is their 60-minute IPA, except this is brewed with Syrah Grape Must added into it. Um, kind of riding on the coattails of their Noble Rot, which is a Saison brewed with Grape Must. As you guys, I'm sure, have known, their 60-minute IPA is just a classic East Coast IPA, you know, one of those craft beer staples. Still holds up to a lot of IPAs today, so to kind of tinker around with that one, that takes a lot of balls, if you ask me. So let me get this one into a glass so you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give the final verdict on the Dogfish 61. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Dogfish 61. Well, it's really interesting. Um, you're definitely getting the 60-minute IPA in the form of citrus, um, earthy, kind of spicy, noble hop characteristics, a slight breadiness to it. But you're getting a lot of that grape must. Obviously, it's a grape juicy kind of sweetness, uh, a little bit of a grape skin character in there. You know, it kind of they kind of battle each other between the citrus and the grape juice. Um, it adds kind of a floral component to the IPA. I'm not 100% sure it actually works though. All right, guys. So the taste in the Dogfish 61. Cheers. Yeah, um, right at the front of the tongue, you know, slight bitterness from the hops, a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of pininess, uh, big kind of spiciness in there. Again, a noble hop type character. Middle of the mouth, though, this thing just kind of falls apart a little bit. Uh, you're getting that nice kind of bready, biscuity maltiness that you get in the 60-minute IPA. Uh, a little bit of citrus coming through. The grape must starts to kind of take over and starts to kind of fight with the other flavors, though. <clears throat> it's a nice kind of, you know, underlying sweetness, a little bit of a grape skin type of uh, fruitiness in there as well. And it doesn't work for me with the citrus and the breadiness. Um, it's definitely two very different beers and they never really come together to form a cohesive you know, beer as this should be. Dry finish, aftertaste, more hoppiness um, in the form of you know, grapefruits, a little bit of lemon peel maybe, a little bit of uh, grape sweetness in the aftertaste as well. You know, 6.5%, you don't taste that, but overall I just don't think it comes together. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Dogfish 61, 6.5% alcohol by volume available right now. Guys, gonna give this one a B minus. It just doesn't work for me. It just never came together. It's two very different flavor profiles and they don't really work for me together. Um, you know, when you add something like a wine must to a beer, it should really just accentuate the base beer. I don't think it does that for this one. I actually think it takes away from the base beer. You lose a lot of that hoppiness. You're gaining a lot of these sweet kind of grapey characters Characteristics that really just don't do anything for the 60-minute IPA. Um, you know, that malty breadiness with the sweetness, and then there's a little bit of citrus in there that really just gets drowned out by everything else. So ultimately, it just never came together for me. Just my opinion, though. So getting a B-minus from me, and remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.